Hey everyone, this is Max from Center Music House. The student showcase is not far off and the deadline to submit your recording is right around the corner. Today, I wanna to talk about the different ways you can record your performance and the things that you should pay attention to to make sure that you get a really good quality recording. First off, there are a few different ways that you could go about recording your performance. You could use a smart device like an iPhone or an iPad. You could use your laptop if it has a built-in webcam and microphone. You could use mom or dad's fancy camera with their help, of course. Or you could ask for your teacher's help. They can record a performance during one of your online lessons using the record feature on Zoom. Whichever method you go with, there are a few key things to keep in mind that can really mean the difference between an excellent quality recording and one that is simply lackluster. First, you want to consider the setting. Where in your home do you want to record your performance? Is it going to be in the living room because that's where your piano is? Or do you have a more mobile instrument like a guitar and you could do it in your bedroom? Consider some place that will feel comfortable to you. Recording yourself can kind of feel awkward so I think it's important that you get as comfortable as possible. The more comfortable you are, the more at ease you will be and you're less likely to make mistakes that way. Next, consider the staging. Set up your instrument and your recording device in such a way that both you and your instrument are what we call in the frame. You want to make sure that you can see your face, most of your torso, your arms, your hands, and the instrument. If any of those elements are missing, it's going to be hard to tell who's playing or what instrument they're playing. And while this may go without saying, but hey, I'll say it anyways, make sure that you are facing the camera and not away from it. Another thing to consider is lighting. Ideally, you want to be in a well-lit room with the camera facing away from the main light source. If you're set up in front of the window and the camera is facing both you and the window, what's going to happen is the camera will auto-adjust to compensate for the large amount of light pouring in through those windows, so anything that isn't bright will appear really dark. Beyond that, feel free to get creative. You can put up a Christmas lights behind you or different colored lights, anything fun or exciting that's going to make your recording a little more interesting. One of the most important things to consider is your audio. After all, if we can't hear what you're playing, what is the point of the performance? So a few things you want to do to make sure that you get a good quality audio recording. Turn off any ambient background sound. So turn off the fans, any devices that produce a lot of sound in the background. You'll also want to make sure that you coordinate with the other people in your house so that you can get some quiet time set aside for where you can do your recording. Do another trial run, play it back, Pay attention to the audio. Make sure you can hear yourself clearly. Make sure it's not too loud or too low. Okay, so you picked a spot, you set the stage, you check to make sure you have good lighting, the audio sounds good, it's lights, camera, action. What I recommend doing is record yourself performing the song a few different times. That way you can look back, find which one is the best in your opinion, and submit that one. Just go to centermusic.com slash student dash showcase and click the link to submit your video. As always, if you have any questions or you need any help submitting your video or just need some feedback on recording, please let me know. We're here to help. Send me an email at max at centermusic.com. And best of luck, guys. I can't wait to see your videos.